I want each of you to tell me your personal dream for that position. Don't talk about what you've already said. It is in you, there is something in you that you want to accomplish. Not that you're gonna bring new people in, new programs. I wanna hear what you have to say that is within you, okay? Let us hear from each one of you. Yeah, thank you, thank you for the opportunity. My passion is to have an amazing law enforcement agency that shows the community what can be done. You know, the goal has always been have the absolute best law enforcement community partnership that you can possibly have. And, and that takes a lot. It takes money, it takes dedicated people, it takes education, but the passion is there to make sure that we do those things. Meaning, we do need that holistic approach. We do need to have a culture within our sheriff's office that is to serve, that is to protect, that is to take care of people. And you know, law enforcement officers, it, it's just sad, but you know, the number one reason that law enforcement officers die in America nowadays isn't because of a gunshot, it's because of suicide. You know, 5% of our agencies have suicide prevention for law enforcement officers. The majority of our agencies don't have anything to help make our law enforcement officers better. Financial planning, you know, when they get stressed, they're gonna have more problems at work. Marital planning, law enforcement officers have one of the highest rates of divorce that are out there. The importance is to make sure that you have programs to help make them better, to help make them better for society, to help make them better officers. And that is a passion of mine. It's a passion to prove that law enforcement can do what we're supposed to do and what we're entrusted to do. You know, it, it's sad that unfortunately, in so many cases, it's just not happening. And it's not the media's fault. It's our fault for not addressing the problems to begin with. Thank you.